Dearly beloved, let us now pray for the church and for our newly wedded couple whose marriage reflects her union with Christ. For the whole for the Holy Church spread over the world, for its leaders, and for the rulers of our nation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. For the poor and the sick, and all those in trial and affliction, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. For Jeffrey and Joy, blessed that he may keep their hearts united forever, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. That he may protect them from evil, Lighten their burdens and fortify them in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. That he may stir up the grace of the sacrament and all married couples here present. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. Almighty eternal God, look down with favor upon your servants. Grant them to remain faithful to you and to one another. At the end of a long and well-spent life, reward them with eternal happiness together with their children and all those who love them through Christ our Lord. Amen. May we request Ronald and Mary Joseph to place the veil on Jeffrey and Joy Bless. Then may we request Mark, John, and Vanessa Rose to lay the cord on Jeffrey and Joy Bless. All please be seated. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Please all stand. Show favor to our supplications, O Lord, and receive with a kindly countenance the oblations we offer for these your servants, Jeffrey and Joy Bless, joined now in a holy covenant that through these mysteries they may be strengthened in love for one another and for you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that the human race, created by the gift of your goodness, should be raised to such high dignity that in the union of husband and wife, you might bestow a true image of your love. For those you created out of charity, you call to the law of charity without ceasing and grant them share in your eternal charity. And so, the sacrament of holy matrimony, as the abiding sign of your own love, consecrates the love of man and woman through Christ our Lord. Through Him, with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we are came. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink his cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gilbert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Remember your servants, Teodulfo and Edita. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Dear brothers and sisters, God's blessing upon this bride and groom. In His kindness, He may favor them with His help, those on whom He has bestowed His sacrament of matrimony. Holy Father, Maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in Your own image, and will that their union be crowned with Your blessing, we humbly beseech You for these Your servants who are joined today in the sacrament of matrimony. May your abundant blessings, Lord, come down upon the bride, joy bless, and upon Jeffrey, her companion for life. And may the power of your Holy Spirit set their hearts aflame from on high, so that living out together the gift of matrimony, they may adorn their family with children and enrich the church. In happiness, may they praise you, O Lord. In sorrow, may they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their toil, and know that you are near to comfort them in their need. Let them pray to you in the Holy Assembly and bear witness to you in, in the world. And after a happy old age, together with a circle of friends that surrounds them, may they come to the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Sisters and brothers, my dear Jeff and Joy, behold before you the Lamb of God. This is Jesus, who chooses you and calls you by name and tells you, You are mine, my beloved, be not afraid. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ. The secondary sponsors may now remove the cord and the veil from our newly wets. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the power of the sacrament we have received may find growth in these your servants, and that the effects of the sacrifice we have offered may be felt by us all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jeffrey and Joy Bless, now that you have received the holy sacrament of matrimony, I admonish you to remain faithful to one another. Joy bless, love your husband, and be a good wife. With God's help, always be caring and loving. Persevere in faith, love, and strive with him to grow in Christian holiness. Jeffrey, love your wife as Christ loves his church, and live with her in the holy fear of the Lord. With God's help, be faithful to her through all the years of your life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Jeffrey and Joy bless, bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. As I bless our newly wedded couple, I also invite the rest of the community in silence to pray for them. May God the Eternal Father keep you in love with each other so that the peace of Christ may stay with you and be always in your home. Amen. May you be blessed with children. Your friends console you and all people live in peace with you. Amen. May the Lord grant that bearing witness to faith in His resurrection, you may await with joy the blessed hope to come. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Our Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace to serve the Lord with love. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, I am happy to present to you our newly married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Jeffrey Velasco. <laughs> Jeff, are you ready? Are you ready, Jeff? Yes, very good answer. Jeff, you may now kiss your wife. for the signing of the marriage documents and taking pictures. Please be ready as you will be called to join the couple in front of the altar. After the pictorials, may we request everyone to please remain in the church and witness the couple marching down the aisle as God, husband and wife.
babe, Joy. Uh, you came to me in an uh, unexpected time. You came as a gift, an unexpected one. Um, <clears throat> one that I learned to never... Uh, I never realized one that I needed, a gift that I needed. And now the, a gift that I want forever in my life. <clears throat> I love you and I promise to uh, always still want you forever and love you forever. <laughs> Uh, you know this. Uh, this one is not prepared. You know because we wanted it pure. You know pure emotion. Uh, the you know that what we really feel right now. Because uh, you know there has been so much delays. Uh, we uh, the wedding was postponed for around three times. But uh, I all worth it. Uh, Actually, dumating tayo sa time na maghanap na lang kaya tayo ng bansa o saan pwede, walang quarantine. Tapos kahit na tayong dalawa lang and parents para matapin lang. So today, yung emotion, hindi ko alam, hindi ko makuntin. Happiness and excitement, lahat. So thank you, Lord, for giving us this day. Thank you for giving us this day for our families, for our relatives. Thank you. And most especially, thank you for you. You are a gift too. You know, even before I prayed for you, I thank my mom. Mom, thank you sa pagpangadji mo sa iya. Thank you for praying for him. Even before I, I was praying for him, it was mommy who was praying for you because she said, someday, someone will come to your life. And totoo palang talaga. Totoo siya. So thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. And thank you. Congratulations to our newlyweds. We will now proceed to the Victoria sequence. Couple together with Kailin. Kailin po.
Thank mm-hmm. you.